Ugh. Hey guys. <laughs> I hopped on here to say hey and then that yawn came out of nowhere. Okay, I'm gonna go get ready to go do some laundry. It's really cloudy outside today, super rainy, super cold, and I just need a little bit of motivation just to get the day going. So let's go. Here's my comfy outfit today. Don't worry about my messy room. We will take care of that in a minute. Okay, so I went ahead and brushed my teeth real quick, splashed some water on my face, and I'm gonna do a little quick makeup routine just to get myself feeling better today. It's been super cold and rainy, so I have not felt motivated. And I also did a really hard body pump workout yesterday, so I'm super sore. I had my alarm set to get up early this morning and go to the gym, but I was just too tired. So I think I'm gonna go later this evening after the kids get out of gymnastics practice. Okay, so I'm just putting on a little bit of mattifying primer. And then I've been using a baby cream but I just ran out, so I'm just gonna use some of my spray foundation just to even everything out a little bit. bit of bronzer this one's really old and broken my kids got into it I'm just trying to use it all up before I throw it away I was afraid I wouldn't be able to find my brow liner. I feel like it always gets lost in the mix with all my other liners. Uh, but you just don't feel complete without your eyebrows done. It's just not possible. get it to be subtle. It's always when you want it to be subtle that you mess up and then it's like Kat Von D, which I love her. starting this whole vlogging experience. Can I tell you one of the cringiest things to me 
in the whole world is listening to your own voice on a camera. Like I'm really having to lay down my pride right now to do this. I did a practice video yesterday and last night, I, it was my first time editing on iMovie. And it took me a couple of hours cause I was just like trying to figure it out. The whole time it was like, ugh, having to listen to myself. <laughs> like, is that what everybody else has to listen to when they listen to me all day? Cause if it is, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Cause I can't, I cannot, I cannot. Does anybody else feel that way about their own voice? Or is it just me? Mama taught me not to go past right here, so I don't. I'm gonna try to do this in the phone, but it's kind of hard. My lips are so dry. I should exfoliate and moisturize them before I do this, but I'm not. I grew up always having oily skin, and now that I'm in my 30s, I'm experiencing dry skin for like the first time in my life. And it's a whole new ball game for me. I don't really know how I feel about it. Cause I feel like growing up in like the early 2000s, everybody wanted their skin to be dry. Like we like use those like alcohol pads and like powder and we all were super dry. And then as I got older, I started appreciating the moisture. And now all of a sudden I'm a little dry. Okay, let's not forget mascara. This will be looking kind of funny if we don't have any. We have eyeliner and no mascara. I also have stick straight lashes. Like they point down. And even when I curl them, they wind up just going like straight. <laughs> I recently got this mascara and it's got primer, lash serum, your actual mascara. It's supposed to help your lashes grow. And I feel like it's done a pretty good job. Um, that combined with the collagen I've been taking, I've been really happy with my lash growth. The collagen has also helped my nails. So I've always had super, super thin nails. And whenever I would go get dip done, whenever they would like drill my nails, I would always jump back like, oh my gosh, that hurts. And they were always like, you just have such thin nails, like, you know. And I started taking collagen and one of these last times when I got my nails done, he was like shaping my nails and was like, you have great nails. Like you have great nails. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's the first time anyone has ever said that to me. <laughs> I was so excited. Like it put a pep in my step, it gave me a really good day the rest of the day. Cause I have always had terrible nails. So the collagen is working. Now I know it's raining and it's cold, but yesterday was hair wash day. And I just need to curl my hair. It might get ruined when we go to gymnastics and to the gym, but hopefully it'll be good enough to where I can salvage it tomorrow without having to put more heat on my hair. I try to only use heat on my hair once or twice a week because with blonde, you get a lot of breakage and everything and I'm trying to grow it back out. I had extensions for about a year and 
going without trimming for that long was really hard on my hair. And then I had to get a bunch of it trimmed off whenever I got them removed. So I'm trying to grow my hair back out. So the less heat, the better. But I'm just going to use a wand. And I think I'm gonna use my smaller wand so that the curls are tighter and they last a little longer. So hopefully I won't have to do this again. My husband started getting sick the weekend before Christmas. Christmas was on a Monday. The day of Christmas Eve, he was so sick. Went to bed early. I stayed up till three o'clock in the morning, wrapping presents, getting everything ready for Christmas. Christmas morning, we wake up, we start doing presents. I start getting sick too. It was awful. We powered through letting the kids open their gifts. You know, we had a good time. I cooked some food. I had to throw together a dinner really quickly because right after we opened our presents, we both tested positive for you know what. So we couldn't go to Christmas on my side of the family. And I was supposed to bring the dressing and the ham and the pies. So luckily I had a little bit of food at the house, so I was able to like throw together a little bit of a Christmas dinner. We watched Home Alone and that was it. We spent the rest of the day in bed. Luckily our au pair was able to work the rest of the day while we rested, but literally the rest of the week, we were so sick. We had to cancel all of our Christmas plans. So this weekend we'll be celebrating with Brandon's side of the family. And the next weekend we'll be celebrating with my side of the family. That'll be pretty much into the end of January. So I feel like I have a little bit of an excuse <laughs> of why our Christmas is still up, but I really do want to get it down. I'm ready for my house to be back to normal, feel a little cleaner. I'm just ready to declutter everything, you know, fresh start. Spring cleaning starts in January, right? I always start my spring cleaning in January, February, because it makes me feel like those gloomy months just go by a little faster. <clears throat> Yesterday, my husband had to go on a work trip. Like he got off work, came home, rested for a little bit, and then had to hit the road. Our trash runs on Tuesdays. He left and he usually takes the garbage down to the road, but of course he didn't because he was like super busy and just didn't think about it totally. Totally cool. But I then forgot to take it down. And then it was like 8.30 at night, freezing cold, pouring down rain. And I had to go take the garbage down to the road. And I was wearing shorts. I just threw on a jacket and my little Birkenstock slip-ons and <laughs> grabbed an umbrella and had to drag those cans all the way up the hill to get them to the road. Well, actually just the trash can. I went and checked the recycle and there was just like two boxes in it. And I was like, forget it. Like we can make it till next week. I'm not dragging that other one up there, but it was freezing cold. And then my son wanted to turn with the umbrella and grabbed it and ran around the house and got rainwater all over the floor. <laughs> it was a whole event. I'm just ready for this all this weather to just 
go away. I kind of feel like Taylor Swift. Our song is a sad screen door, singing out and tapping on your window. <laughs> Okay, I'm just gonna put a little bit of oil in it because my ends are always dry. And my hair's kind of frizzy, so it kind of helps tone down the frizz. And I don't hate the frizz. It actually gives me a little bit more body in my hair. And I think it actually, the texture helps my hair to hold curl. So even though my hair's like thin, I have a lot of it. So it makes it easy to style. Okay, I think we're ready to clean the house. show them to you later before I get ready to go to the gym. They were my Christmas, my big Christmas present. I love them. <laughs>
<laughs> okay, this is all laundry that I folded yesterday. So I'm gonna go ahead and get all this hung up, put away, and then I'll start on some more laundry.
gymnastics tonight and have to go to the gym. So I just pulled some frozen chili out of the freezer. I'm letting it thaw a little bit so I can stick it in a pot. And I'm just gonna get all these dishes done so we have a nice clean kitchen when we eat tonight.
Okay, so we had our chili tonight. It was chili that I had made before that was in the freezer. So I just thawed it out for a quick dinner. And now that all that is done, it's time for me to start getting ready for bed. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my makeup off, make a tea, and I'm probably gonna take a bubble bath. So thank you guys for following along with me today on this busy day. And thank you for helping me get motivated. I can't wait to see you in the next one. Bye.